guys, your girl Kristen here. I got a new Disney pin subscription unboxing for you. Um, I want to put a little disclaimer, like these are my little red flashing disclaimer lights. Um, I want to put a little disclaimer um, for this unboxing. The subscription is new to me, however this company is not. I have gotten um, boxes in the past from them. Uh, the company is Mickey Monthly. The reason that I wanted to put this little disclaimer is that... Um, I do not particularly care for Mickey Monthly subscription boxes. Um, not that I think they're horrible. Like, I know there's people that, that subscribe to them and they love them and that's great and good for them. Um, I, however, Mickey Monthly is not like, um, Magic at Your Door and Mickey's Mystery Box. And I also believe Theme Park Monthly, you are not guaranteed to get 100% of your value. Um, you, I think they quote you at getting like 30% three percent maybe may I think that's about what it is um maybe a little bit higher or maybe it's reversed maybe you get like 55 percent and they keep I, I can't remember what it was but I was getting the box that I paid for was like 70 some dollars and I got nowhere near that and plus you have to pay for shipping um the last like I got like three boxes I think it was and the last box I got a little Mickey figurine that was this big and a chocolate bar from the ganachery. Um, when I contacted the company or the curators and I said, hey, look, you know, I spent a lot of money for this box. And at the time, it was really a lot of money to me. Um, I spent a lot of money for this box. And this is what you gave me. I was basically told, you know, um, you, you basically... Uh, with mystery boxes, you kind of get what you get, and there's no refunds, and there's no, no matter how dissatisfied you are with the box. So I actually, um, they are part of the reason that I kind of started this whole unboxing review quest, is to kind of save people f from spending so much money on something that you're getting so little value out of. Um, but fast forward a couple years to today, um, I was, because I'm, now becoming getting re into the whole Disney pin trading thing when I had typed into Disney pin subscriptions they came up and they actually have a subscription for ten dollars where you get three Disney pins um they are slightly used um so I'm assuming they've been traded before um but they are supposed to be a hundred percent in park tradable um so I was like well for three pins for th ten dollars I kind of wanted to kind of see like what it was about um but like I said the reason I'm giving you this whole long disclaimer is because as much as I'm going to open this and try to have the most open mind about it I want you guys to know that I do going into this have already dealt with this company in the past and already don't kind of care for their subscription I guess is what I'm trying to say so I'm gonna do the best I can to be open about it um but I will still put all the details below because as always don't just go off of what I'm saying you know check them out make your own cuz just cuz it didn't work for me doesn't mean it won't work for you but now that that whole disclaimer is out of the way let's get into it and I um well like I said still put all every the information below so they have this subscription service um, for the pins, they have one for used pins, and then they have one for, um, like, new, like, pins. The one for the new pins is about $30, which is the going rate for most of them. Um, this is what came. So you guys know I did the Magic at Your Door, um, unboxing. So this is a lot for a pin subscription, and this is a lot smaller. Um, so that makes me a little nervous. And I can hear them rattling around. Which makes me very nervous about how they're packaged in here. But we shall find out. Maybe. Because as always, I can't rip it open. Alright y'all, hang tight. I'm about to use this and try not to cut my fingers off. Alright, so... Hey, I forgot about all that. So, um, Mickey Monthly does in their boxes, um, put these little, like, 
and I did kind of forget about them. These little like Mickey heads, I don't know if you guys can see them. They're now all over my floor. Hopefully the dogs won't eat them. So, um, the pins, while they were in this little like bubbled wrap, um, the three of them were only tossed in here. Um, so hopefully they're not real scratched. Um, so, I will say these do look, hmm. so, um, the first pin is this Mickey, um, this Mickey hat pin, and it's got a yellow backing, hopefully you guys, I'm gonna come up and hopefully you guys can see it a little better. You guys see that? So it doesn't look that bad. It's not as scratched as I thought it was going to be. And it does have... I was worried about it being real scratched. Um, you can tell it is an actual pin. Disney pin. So that's not bad. I mean, you can, you can tell... You can tell it's been around the block a little bit. But it's not horrible. There's no, there's no real huge gashes in it or anything like that. So the next one, and I don't know who this is, um, but it, it's one of the hidden, it looks like one of the hidden Mickey pins, or I'm going to say it's one of the Mickey, hidden Mickey pins. Um, but I don't really know who that is. Y'all, let me know. Do you know who that is? And again, it's not real, it's, um, it's got a scratch, it's got a little scratch in it, but nothing hard, like, nothing I wouldn't expect to get from a pin that I had traded. And then the next one, which is actually really, really cute, is this little, and I, I've been a Disney fan all my life, and I'm gonna be 35, and I can't believe that I'm gonna say that I don't know this, but I know one has a red nose and one has a black nose, but I do not know which is which. So I don't know if this is Chip or Dale. Let me know below. But look how cute that is. And again, of course, the back of it. Um. So, I mean, it wasn't... And this one is in pretty good for being a traded pin. It's in pretty good shape. Um... So, I got, like I said, I got the Chip or Dale. I think it's Chip. I could be wrong, but I think it's Chip. Um, and then I got, but I, like I said, I'm not sure who this is. But it's one of the hidden Mickey pins. And then I got this, um, the ear hat pin, which I really, really like. That's really cute. Um, like I said, I, these are all... I do believe, um, these are park pins. I'm not sure about this one, but it looks like it's one of the authentic. Oh, it says, it is, and it's an authentic pin trading pin. Um, so they do look like they all are, all are, all are authentic. Let's say that three times fast. They all look like they all are authentic. Um, pins. So, I mean, for $10, that is not bad at all. Um, I will let you guys know. I will look them up when I actually go, before I post this, to let you know 100% if they are actual, um, official Disney pins. Because technically, although I do not, we only started doing pin trading when we went to our last trip in 2015. Um, so I'm not 100% on all the pin trading rules. But I do know that for a pin to technically be tradable, it is supposed to be a Disney pin. So, that was one of my biggest kind of concerns when I, because the wording on the website when I went to sign up for this was a little tricky. It doesn't say authentic Disney Park pins. It says they're just 100% tradable. So, I was a little nervous that I was maybe going to get pins that they had trade, traded and maybe weren't really Disney pins. Um, But, like I said, just off the, without totally 
really examining them because like I said I've only been doing the pin, pin trading for a little bit they do look like they are 100% Disney Park pins um even <laughs> past dealings aside um I don't think for $10 they were that bad um I I might keep it for another month or so just kind of see what happens um try to like I said stay open and not Try to look for the bad. Um, but we'll see. As always, I will put a link below with all the information so that you guys can check it out. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. We got some fun stuff coming up. I am so excited. I can't wait. And as always, from Arohana to yours, lots of love.